Okay, part two, bike turn. Yeah, what I want to do is like have a website. What the? Huh? There we go. Have a website where um, uh, I uh, I want to record everything my entire bike tour because I was in REI the other day and they have these uh, video cameras that you can attach to your helmet that were like $190 there that take the micro SD cards. So I could and I, so I'm, I'm assuming and I think they're waterproof too. I'm assuming that. All I have to do is just push a button, and then and then it's uh, filming. So, so I'm gonna be like riding down the road, right? Push the button on my head, and then it'll it'll film. I'll be like, look at that mountain over off yonder, and then and it'll probably even then the thing say what time it is, you know, during the day, and then I you know and then I get to the mountain, and then I push the button again, and I go, oh look, see there's the mountain that I was looking at before. And then I turn it off, and then I go up to the top of the mountain, and then I push the button again, and I look behind me out to the plains, and I go, see, there's the plains. And you just do that throughout the day, and then you watch the video, and then, or then I like, go to the internet place, right? And, um, and then I, you know, I, I, I pull up all the files from the video camera, and it's like this whole, you know, list of files. And then I, you know, I'm sure any one of those computers, well, actually, every computer has by default a uh, Windows Media Player on it. So then you get media Windows, not Windows Media Player, Windows Movie Maker on it. So then you just put all those files in the same file with Movie Maker, upload that to YouTube. So then in a 10-minute YouTube video, you can have um, your entire your entire day, your entire bike, like a 200-mile bike ride, um, in a 10-minute video, and you can actually see the entire ride. Like, you know, like in the first video, it's you at the camp. Next video, you can see the hill over there, and the next video, you're on the hill, and then next video, you can see the next hill, so then you can actually see the entire ride, like literally the entire road, and uh, kind of similar to bike touring, because like one magical thing about bike touring is uh, you really do learn the land, you know, all of the undulations of the, of the curvature of the earth and of the hills and the, uh, you know, even the vegetation change. I remember when I was in Mexico, I rode my bike from... Uh, from the, what was it, I can't remember what it was called, some town just north of El Tajin, south of Tampico, right on the coast, you know, in the jungle, and then and then I rode all the way up to the plains where Mexico City is, which is 7,000 feet, and I, I remember looking, I was seeing, like, the vegetation change before my eyes, and uh, as we were going into the other biosphere, and you don't see that kind of stuff in a car. Even if you're on a bus staring out of the window the entire time, taking notes as much as you can with the uh, concentration of a freaking uh, weightlifter or something <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna memorize the land like a bike tourist does because because you're going too fast and the bike tour has to learn the land you know if they're gonna gonna survive you know not right off the road and bike tourist is always looking around you know and so it's amazing you really do learn the land which is cool to look to know the land completely in the world earth and everything like I know what Australia looks like I have Australia memorized. It's really cool. Um, but not just that. You get high, like I said, the endorphins. But not just that. And you're sweating your ass off. Which, and so it's also, you know, you're also uh, purifying your body of all the toxins because you just, like, you don't pee the whole day. Even though you're drinking five water bottles, ten water bottles, you don't, you don't, you don't pee at all. You're peeing through your skin. So you're getting rid of a lot of toxins, and after a couple of days, a few weeks, you feel great physically. Um, you know, you just lay there and you're just glowing and buzzing, and you just love feeling, love being in your body and feeling your body and being healthy. Um, unlike, like I say, a drug deal, a drug addict, or even how I feel right now, I feel like I don't feel good at all. My ache, all of my joints are aching. Um, you know, I can tell my sweat is sticky and nasty and toxic and because, you know, I've been, been al you know, alcoholic for the last month and a half because of this whole work I've been doing. And, um, so yeah, look, 420 again. <laughs> I'm calibrated to look at my watch at 420. Um, I, um, I, uh, um, yeah, very amazing, very amazing. But also, um, the, the there's the whole body endurance thing. Um, I've never really taken the bike touring really like to my maximum limit because, um, like, I was smoking so much weed. You know, you'd like ride and then you'd stop and weed. I, I rode my bike for 30 hours straight in Australia once, 
but every two hours, that included every two hours, I have like a half hour smoke break. Uh, smoking weed, you know, I have to hit like take 20 hits to get high on every one of those. And so that wasn't like pure bike touring 30 hours straight without stopping. And that's what I want to do. I did a 21, well, but that was stopping a lot too, 20 hour, one hour, one hour ride. Um, I think the longest ride I ever did without stopping was only like 20 hours or something. Like so. So I want to do like 24-hour bike rides, not stopping, listening to my MP3 player. I'm going to have, what I'm going to bring with me is these MP4s. Um, and not just one, but two or maybe three of these suckers so that the batteries, you know, the battery dies on one, I bring the other so I don't have to deal with not having music. And listening to my uh, my audio encyclopedia, um, becoming a polymath while you bike tour. That's another thing. Um you know, one reason I couldn't bike tour and I thought maybe I'd never bike tour again is because uh, you just get bored. And not just get bored, you, you feel like you're wasting your time, like you want to be learning. But bike touring, because of my audio encyclopedia, is the perfect opportunity to learn. You're going to learn more and faster doing that than you're going to do like being enrolled in a school in, an edu in, a, in a university. Um, yet at the same time, you're traveling the world and seeing all the sights and sounds and meeting new people and learning new stuff. Yet at the same time, you're becoming super incredibly fit. So you're you're totally uh, multitasking, big time, triple tasking, bike touring. And um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful activity. And uh, I think it's going to be the most, um, I think it's going to be something that everybody does pretty soon. Everybody's going to go bike on a bike touring. When you go travels, they're going to be, they're gonna be bike touring. Um, and... Uh, so basically on that note, um, I want to uh, make a bike touring website that's kind of a, a very educational um, so that like if somebody had a website, the website that I had, I definitely watch it to get motivated to it, to do it, or maybe even if I didn't want a bike tour, just to, it'd be a good way to learn the land of the person they're doing. Um, or maybe even to find out if I like their route or like maybe if there's two different people and they have and they both have the same kind of website that I'm gonna have I can choose which route I want to do based on what their website is and Because uh, you're gonna know the entire route uh, each so basically what I want to do is make a um, a Video Every every like 10 minute long video I put up on YouTube would be a day. That would be a day um, Based on all these different little captures. I do I push the button so it's like, you know, writing down here, and then that one. And then, um, and then, uh, and then, um, I want to record, like, how many miles I did each day um, on my website. Like, this day I did this many miles this day. And then, and then have it day one, day two, day three. So if it's like a 300-day bike tour, have 300 different uh, um, rows and uh you know even if i don't ride don't ride that one day i'll just write down what i did and um and then i want to have a whole bunch of like little records i do like like most amount of miles in a day most amount of miles in a 24-hour period most amount most amount of days over 100 miles um day with biggest elevation gain and change um or uh, elevation change um let's see uh uh, fastest 12 hours, fastest six hours. I mean, you know, like longest 12 hours, longest six hours, longest one hour, longest three hour. And then, so I'm always trying to break my record. I got this idea from, you know, my gym, college gym, where I have all my records where I try to break. So it's like every day, it's like, oh, you know, I'm not feeling so good leg strength wise, but I'm motivated to ride all day. So let's see if I can break my 24 hours. How many, uh, uh, if I can go faster, farther in 24 hours. And also, um, every single full moon, I want to do a 24-hour bike ride. Um, so I have like 11 24-hour bike rides um, by the time I, uh, I'm done with my bike tour. And, uh, and then, at the end of the bike tour, I'm so strong and fit and everything that I will uh, I'll go and do that race, and I'll win, obviously. Um, I did do that race once before. Um, and, uh, but, but I didn't do it as a solo guy. I uh, I did it. Well, I guess that's bike touring for you. Um, 
So, there you go. That's bike touring. Toodaloo. See.